SP Faith, your reaction to what has happened by invoking Article 311 of the Constitution of India, all of these people who are associated with terrorists, Bitta Karate and Said Salahuddin, have been removed from their government positions, from their jobs. I welcome this move. In fact, uh, uh, if you see uh, this ecosystem which was existing in Kashmir Valley for the last uh, many decades, uh, actually need to be destroyed. Uh, one member of the family is working against the state, against the nation, against uh, the society of Jammu and Kashmir, destroying generations of youth. And the other family member working in elite service like Kashmir Administrative Service, higher educational uh, institution professors and many other assignments, higher positions in the government. Mm. Uh, this kind of system cannot be allowed. Uh, the same family is enjoying all the privileges and perks of the government uh, senior positions. I think uh, this should have been done much, much earlier and yes. I welcome Mr. Maro Sina's move and uh, these uh, white collar uh, terrorists are more dangerous than actual encounters. That is why you are not seeing achievement. You are killing terrorists but on ground situation is not improving. We need to destroy this ecosystem. Yes, you know, and the wife of Vita Karate, Mr. Vaid, for example, is, is, is somebody who is known to be a diehard secessionist. You know, it's not like uh, she's only the, uh, you know, wife of Vita Karate. She on her own also is believed to have deep links uh, with the ISI in Pakistan. So this, in a way, was long, long overdue and much more needs to be done, like you said, to bring these people to justice, isn't it? See, uh, uh, in Jammu and Kashmir police, we have removed uh, thousands of policemen. Wherever it, to our notice, it came that he has links with the terrorists or he has uh, some um, uh, sympathy with terrorists. He, uh, he or she was summarily dismissed. But this did not happen in civil departments and uh, in uh, higher assignments of the government like secretariat and uh, higher education institutions like Kashmir University, uh, Aju uh, Central University, the uh, Islamic University, Sharia Kashmir Agriculture University. Uh, look at uh, uh, Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani leading um, uh, on behalf of Pakistan, uh, leading the terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir. And his sons and children, uh, his grandson, is, uh, they are given uh, important assignments in government. He, one of his son, grandson was uh, employed on a gusted assignment without a written test and interview. With uh, that privilege is not available to ordinary Kashmiris. Mm. A high time such uh, ecosystem is destroyed and uh, I, I welcome this move. You know there are others as well on this list. We'll talk about that too. But Mr. Ved, uh, what do you think should be done now moving forward? And there would be many such people associated with these terrorists who would be still enjoying these positions. The authorities obviously have to do more, in fact, to take action against them. See, we need to uh, have a, a verification of all people holding uh, important assignments in the government. Kashmir Administrative Service, a premier service in Jammu and Kashmir. And you have a Bitta Karate, who is a known terrorist of K JKLF, who has killed, confessed openly that I killed 25 Kashmiri Pandas and his uh, wife working uh, as a K KS officer and enjoying all the privileges and perks of the government, uh, traveling all across the country and all, all abroad, uh, many nations. Now, uh, this kind of ecosystem uh, we need to uh, check. I, I think uh, uh, all those who are holding very important assignments, we need mm. to have uh, in, uh, intelligence uh, um, uh, verification of everyone and those who are working against the state, against the nation, against the society of Kashmir, needs, needs, they should be denied privileges of government. Yes, uh, you know, Mr. Ved, I'm going through the details of, uh, of, of the information that we have accessed uh, through our sources. Here we are talking about certain high-profile names, you know, Saeed Saladin's son, uh, Bitta Karate's wife, but there are others as well. For example, there is one, Muhit Ahmed Bhatt, who was a scientist in the Department of Computer Sciences. This is the man who is responsible for organizing protests, organizing students to protest against the Indian state in Kashmir, organize stone pelting. So there is much more information that has come to the fore in terms of what the administration is now doing. So not just looking at these high-profile figures, 
but also others who are systematically targeting India and indulging in anti-India propaganda. Absolutely, and uh, this should have been done much, much earlier. I am glad at least now the government is doing it and uh, the in intelligence department uh, of JNK uh, police is uh, doing this job and uh, uh, Honorable Lieutenant Governor is acting on the uh, recommendation of the administration. It is uh, right move and uh, I only wish it should have been done much earlier. Okay. Thank you so much as we wait the former DGP Jammu and Kashmir for joining us.